All right, I can close the game. I can close the game. Let's play some Halo 5. Maybe web fishing? Maybe a little bit of web fishing to kind of relax. How do y'all feel about that? A little bit of web fishing, a little bit of yapping, a little bit of cozy vibes. And I'm going to even open the other fishing game. Ha, ha, ha. Late. Is this the end? Late night fishing. Smile. Yeah, let's do a little bit of web fishing. And uh, it's been fun. It's a nice yappy game. A nice yappy game. We'll see. <laughs> Big yappy game. I feel, I keep feeling though, every time the timer is low, I'm like, I have to stay on stream because there's a chance things end. But then every time it doesn't, and I'm like, oh, but okay. So I keep pushing myself to the end. I keep pushing myself to the end, because what if? What if this is the end? I don't want to miss you. If this is the end, I don't want to miss you, you know? And I don't want to miss a thing. Even when I dream of you. Sweetest dream, you never do. All right, where were we? All right. Can we do more than 12 players in the lobby? I, I don't think so. Huh? It's still 12. All right, my labs. Get ready. Here, I'm going to copy paste the code. Yippee. This is my life. The fishing woman's life. I'm here to fish. And do all my stuff. Ooh. Hello. Cosmetic shades. Wow. Wow. Yahoo. What do I have? I want to see what new items I got. Wow. Cosmetic glare. Ooh, wait a second. I'm looking a little. Wait a second. Wow. That's kind of boring. Oh, I don't love it. Oh, I don't love it. Ooh, an eye patch. Ooh, and eye patch and sunnies. All right, that's that is crazy. Do I look like Solid Snake, by the way? <laughs> or is the cigarette, you know, the missing piece, the cigarette? Wow, Matara Snake Con. Yeah, I love it. I love, I love the eye patch. That's not solid, Snake Madara. It's on the wrong eye. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Oh. Oh, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Oh, sorry. Big boss. Big boss. Big boss. Big boss. Solid Snake doesn't have an eye patch. You're right. It's Big Boss. You are correct. Nice. It's time to fish. Oh my god, look at me. I look so cool. I look so... I look so scary. I look so terrifying. It's nice. I look so scary, so terrifying fishing up. Sorry, Tio. The other fishing game is covering you. <laughs> Sorry, Angel. Nobody knows you're here with us. 
Nobody knows you're here with us. It's a secret. Hi, Xander. I thought you were going to bed. I think we still have room. Let me see. Still have room for four players if y'all want to come. We got four players. Oh my god, I look so angry. I kind of love it. I kind of love it. It's so angry. It's such an angry face. Oh my god. Straight with brackets. <laughs> I love that. Straight. Yeah, this is quite the look. Oh my god. Quite, quite the look. <sighs> Do I have any ideas for warming up? It's cold out there for a pimp. Um, yeah, pay for your heating and stay inside. Pay for your heating and stay inside. No BGM. The game is supposed to have a BGM. I don't know where it is. Baby, stay inside. It's cold outside. Oh, to tell. To tell. How do I get colder? It's hot outside. Um, <laughs> let, let people break your heart. Let people break your heart. It's going to make you colder. A hundred years it made me colder. Da -da 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 saw your pretty face. Here without you, baby. Na -na 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 -na. Lord, I don't believe it. I simply do not believe it. I simply do not. It will act. Do not believe it might actually end tonight, my love. I think, I think I am trapped here for a little bit. I know, that song is so... I'm here without you, baby. I cannot wait for karaoke. I need my voice to rest, and then we're singing a song all along. It's going to be great. Oh, I like your name. It's spooky, but it's also freaky. I like it. Freaky and spooky. Por no los dos... Three doors down. Oh, it's been a while. I know a lot of songs from that one album, but any other songs, I'd probably need to listen to it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's starting. Starting. Starting to get me. Stream will be over soon. Soon to find us sometime between now and the eventual heat death of the universe. Something like that. Something like that. Oh my God, everyone's pulling, everyone's catching, everyone's going. I didn't know you spoke Spanish because I don't. <laughs> no. Because I don't, baby. Oh. Oh, no. Stop yawning, Matara. Please. Please, Matawa. Don't yawn. Stop with the yawning. In the same voice as Haruka going, stop with the gooning. I'm leaning back it with my rod. I'm yawning loudly. Ooh! How did that big manta ray fit in that bucket? Huh? I have very many questions about how that happened. Logistically, artistically speaking, I know that you said. Oh my goodness. Isn't that from, um, what was that movie with Anchorman? Anchor Man. Oh my god. Back in the good old days. Ooh, four star. Don't mind if I do. Please be something great. Please actually be a really big fish. I really want to impress everybody fishing with me. I want to be like, wow, look at my big fish. It's four and a half centimeters. It's a microfish. 
That's really embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. I'm so sorry, y'all. It's just a little cold in this water, okay? It's just a little cold. Give it a second. Give it a second, please. Please give it a moment, please. Please give it a minute, please. Please, pretty please. Oh. Hmm. Let's go, lazy. You're just out here. You're just out here fishing. Got a meter 96 octopus. Ooh, do you think it's measured the body or do you think it's measured from tentacle to tentacle? Tentacle by tentacle. Do 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 do. Tentacle by tentacle. Do 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 do. Try not to remember. Na 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 na. Can't even go that high. No dimension. No na na na. What's everyone doing this weekend? By the way. Already my, my buddies catch fast. Is there the Sunday night football? Watching me? Interesting. You work weekends. How's that for you? Watching stream. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Visiting your aunt. I hope it's fun. You're cleaning? Honestly? Clean home? Clean house? Clean everything? And I know everyone's going to say, Matara, we know you're not clean. It's okay. I like being clean. I don't clean, but I like it. Oh, I hope your lunch was good. Having a cookout, that sounds fun. Job searching, good luck. Prepping for D&D, &D, that, ooh. Ooh, 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 I think this is gonna be my biggest fish yet. Please, 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 game. Oh, I need a bigger rod. I need a stronger rod. Give me some good. Oh. Radiant huge crab. I mean, yeah, I guess 17 centimeters is kind of big, but you know. Housework and getting your replacement car. Ooh. I know it can take a long time for some of those. My flesh mother had somebody bump into her car and she needed, I think it took two months for her to get her, her car back. I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know why it took so long. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a big fish, Teal. Good job. Probably, huh? Usually something to do with sourcing replacement parts. Probably. If she has a rare car or stuff like that, right? Was the damaged cosmetic? I don't know. I don't drive. So when she explained it to me, I just went, mm-hmm. And even if I asked questions, I wouldn't really understand them. I wouldn't really understand them, to be honest. I never thought I'd complain about this, but I think my buddies are catching fish a little bit too fast. A little bit too fast. Too furious. Oh. wonder if my cans of... Cola are actually being a little too expensive. Hmm. Nah. They can't be. I think I put these guys a little too close. Hmm. Nice. Nice. All right, let's go. Yoink. Am I a fan of the shiny rocks? Which ones? Which ones, Angel? Ooh, it's raining, man. All right, which way is the rain? Oh, this way is the rain. Wait, wait, what? Did I not just see rain? Uh, guys, rain. But it's like, I'm not sure where it is. It's like here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yippee! Oh, oh, I drank two cans by accident. Uh, rain near big lake. Near and near spawn. Yeah. 
Where were we? Oh, yeah. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. Yeah, I can't believe we're... We're not almost in December, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> it's... it's The year has both been so slow and so fast. On one case, on one hand, I've done so much this year. I've done so much this year. We've done so much this year. We've done so much stuff. But on the other hand, it's already going to be 2025. Sometimes I think, oh, you know... VTubing's not, like, VTubing at least five solid years of being, you know, in the, in, in people's eye. Wow. How long was Fortnite big for? You know? Crazy, crazy stuff. Really not looking to 2025? How come? I'm, I'm excited. I think it's nice to, I, I think it's. I think it's nice to ooh. Wait, was that me? I got a big fish. Thank you, hockey. I'm sorry you're having a difficult year. I'm really, really sorry. It's it's been it's definitely been um it's definitely been some stuff. A lot of a lot of big years, a lot of big stuff for a lot of folks, right? Even even for me, it, it's it's crazy to look back about how much stuff has changed this year. You know, but things are always changing. I think uh, things are always changing and uh, just kind of have to keep moving forward. Have to keep moving forward. Have to keep your head high. Have to keep walking one foot in front of the other. And uh, there's always going to be new things that are going to make you happy. If the code, if the code doesn't work, then um it means the lobby's full. Yeah, the lobby's full. Also nice to see you, Clover. It's been a while. I feel like Clover is all only able to come with like the late, late nights. I see you also have your old number. Haha. -ha. Very sweet. Mm. No more creative mode. Yeah, survival mode. Now we have to eat a lot of chicken and not die in Minecraft. Because if we die in Minecraft, we die in real life. Do I celebrate Thanksgiving? So not really. We don't really celebrate too much stuff. But I am going to have American Thanksgiving. I am going to have American Thanksgiving this year at Mint, Mint's house. So, well, Mint's, I guess, parents' house. It's going to be really, really fun. And we got to... Once the subathon is done and I want to kind of sit down with everybody and ask you for ideas on what I can do with Mint... A karaoke could be fun, even though we don't really sing the same songs and we don't really have the same, you know, style of stuff. Um, karaoke could be fun. Doing some kind of hand cam could be fun. Mm, building some kind of thing could be really, really fun. Yeah. I think that could be awesome. I'm excited. Have a good summer! Hags! I'd have to learn the idol songs, right? And I don't speak Japanese, so it's going to be really, really tough. Like, if you hear an English song, you can kind of... It's a little bit easier to kind of try and sing it, because at least you know the lyrics. Japanese, you basically have to learn fully by heart. Xander, that is crazy. You are just going full on, aren't you? Now you also need the, the, the Final Fantasy XIV fishing. RuneScape fishing. I think doing a karaoke for songs that I don't know is kind of difficult. It's easier to kind of sing songs that I at least know a little bit, right? I feel that it's easier to sing songs that I know a little bit. It's only when you're really, really good at songs when you can kind of hear a song and just instantly. For me, I need to listen. I don't know the melodies. I don't know how the song goes. You know? Stuff like that. I don't think I remember. I actually don't remember a lot of stuff. I have to always. 
when I was much younger, I always just learned things by heart in school to then forget them. So I do the same things when I learn songs. I learn them by heart and then I just fully forget them. Let's go, Iridescence. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. Thank you, Trash. I like singing too. I definitely have a lot of improvement to do, but I've definitely improved already, so that's awesome. I think the Momo tattoo is at 41,000, if I remember correctly played. Uh, oh yeah, Sleep Token's been on all over my Spotify. Um, I mean, I, I don't know really, mister, because I feel if, if I, you know, I feel like stuff like that can very easily turn into like self-advertising and things like that, and it's hard for me to moderate it. So if you guys are on each other's steam and you want to open a lobby, that's fine. But otherwise, I just feel like it's, it's I don't know how to really control not control, but I don't know really how to moderate it. And I feel like it's one of those things where people can just easily um, come in and be like, hey, you know, come and I don't know. Just don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, if it gets out of hand, I'll feel really, really bad and responsible. Exactly. So I don't know. Obviously, I, I like when y'all make friends and I like when y'all talk with each other and hang out. But I also want to be sure that I'm not really. If you want zero and then folks can jump on zeros, that could work. I think that's actually a really good idea in the future. Maybe having like a few mods open one. I don't know if Mint has a cooking setup. So I don't know. You also have to remember for the collabs with Mint, right? They should kind of be something that is easy for her to set up. And easy for me to join. Look at Zero. Look at Zero volunteering to fish. <clears throat> Do I know how to yap in game? Uh... I do know how to yap in game. I absolutely do. <laughs> That's actually really, really smart, Chris. I, I like that a lot. That code does that. That's actually a good idea for the future. Or even like have a few members start it that we already know that have done some stuff and projects and like, like we said, community greeters and things like that. That's a really good idea. That's the first, that's another thing I really would like to get done for 2025. Um, it's just like a community greeter role for a lot of y'all. And then there's a lot of things where it's almost like, it's almost like a trusted role where if we were to then have a game lobby or things like that, I would trust people to start one. Yeah, right? It's it's like the perfect job for greeters. Because then you still get to do stuff. And, and if anything happens, you're still usually somebody that, you know, we trust because you've been here for over a year. You you interact a lot in Discord. We kind of know you. And again, I say we trust, but, you know, things crazy things can happen. Things can, things can go haywire at any time. And people, I've seen people who are huge fans turn into huge aunties. People who are huge aunties turn into fans. It happens to, you know, it is what it is. People can change at the drop of a hat. Yeah, Zero, that's actually really sweet. That's actually a really, really good idea. There's a few things. Honestly, after for 2025, I really want to sit down with a lot of kind of the core team and see where we can do more stuff, where we can do better, what we can improve on for Discord and moderating and things like that. <laughs> Zero's going to be like, what do you mean improve moderating? But you know what I mean, just kind of because I myself want to be very careful to not to not always approve of of you know, like a Minecraft server or things like that. But if you do it or y'all do it on on my behalf, it's a little bit different. I just don't want to get in trouble. It's a new year. I agree. It's a new year. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life. 
for me. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm feeling. Bow. Bow -dow. Bow -dow. Guys, I'm going back to the main area because it's closer to my. Closer to the store. Yunk, 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 yunk. Get more people so Zero can take weekends off. I would Zero need to take weekends off. I take weekends off. Well, one weekend off, but still. Right, let's see how much we got. Yes, money. Yeah, I think so. I think you can pin them together, Zero. First room, if it's full, try second room. Thank you. It's very, very sweet. Very appreciated. How much is web fishing? I think a few dollars. Oh, Def, I was absolutely thinking of the 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 Muse cover of it. <laughs> Please do not think I'm that I'm that incredible. Even I mean, Bad, Mad Bellamy is a phenomenal singer. Phenomenal. Yeah, see, run like a bull. That is exactly what I mean, right? Where ugh, it sucks. Like, I hate to be like, oh, see, everybody, I'm right. I just hate reminding you that I'm right. By the way, I'm right, but I ugh, I hate reminding. No, but that's the kind of stuff that happens where if something happens on a Minecraft server and maybe we don't moderate it the way that we should or maybe things like that and then maybe let's say something happens between person A and B in Minecraft and then we don't make a decision or we don't moderate it the way person A and B like, both person A and B will have a bad negative reaction and could potentially leave the community. So I just want to make sure we, there's not too, too much stuff. And it sucks. It sucks, but that's kind of how it is. Kind of how it is. Yeah, and nobody's perfect. And even, you know, even somebody that is usually really great can sometimes react in a negative way or in a, in a bad way. That happens too. It's normal. It's true. You can't please people all the time. I'm holding your hand. Oh my God, look at them flirting. They're flirting down there. Holding hands, kissing. Holding hands, kissing. No, y'all can hold hands and kiss. You can do whatever whatever you please. Yeah. Also, let's say somebody, I don't know, blows up something in Minecraft or does something like that, right? And even if we don't, there's always a way to like make things fair, but sometimes... There's no way of making things fair. These are kind of unfair. <laughs> oh, math. Exactly. It's it's also a lot of work. I feel like the mods already have so much work to do in the Discord. Yep. Yeah. This is also why um, I really don't mind that my Discord has very strict rules. I really don't mind if people cannot abide by the rules that they're not a part of the Discord. If, you know, other members of Vichojo maybe have more relaxed discords, people leave. Okay, have have a good one. It's really not that serious. I think there's probably some people that don't, that maybe got timed out of discord that probably watch streams and have a great enjoy enjoyment in the streams. But it's kind of different, right? Feels like discord is super relaxed. Yeah, because the mods are working overtime. <laughs> And we were very strict at the start. We were very strict at the start to eventually relax it. And the reason for this is that when people, when new people come in and you already have kind of a community of, and way of being, it's a lot easier to keep going, right? But if you kind of don't have a community or way of being yet and then people join, that's when things can kind of go a little crazy. What are you painting, Rex? No worries about lurking. I think that's awesome. Thank you for lurking. Thank you, thank you. Always appreciate it. Glistening to tell, small frug. That's good, Leo. I'm happy. 
I think we have a really, really nice Discord, and even I really enjoy hanging out in it and looking at it. And that was really important to me, right? Because I feel it. I like it. I like seeing what everyone's doing, what everyone's talking. I like always being in a crowded place with a bunch of people. Even if I'm working on my own thing, kind of parallel, I like that. I like that a lot. Half the time you are just hugging. It's true. That's the best part. And maybe there's some people that only check one or two places in the Discord, and that's fair. Maybe there's some folks that only check like one or two things in the Discord, and that's about it. And that's kind of what you need, right? You come in, you check your little your little stuff, you check whatever groups you're a part of, and Corsair Void Scars. Oh my God, that sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Do you do you have enough units to have your own like army of that, or do you have to add a lot of Eldar units into there? How does um? Because I know that was a big problem with Harlequins, right? That you don't have enough units just with Harlequins. Oh, kill team! Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Kill teams is small squads. Perfect. Perfect. Got it. Yeah, and also, I, I don't know. I feel it's if I I don't know. I, I just hold on. Where am I going with this, <laughs> Batara? You're tired. Um, I just I think having a strict moderated Discord is nice. I like it. I, I don't see why not having one. I don't know. Yeah, I'm tired. And I'm about to retire to bed soon. I'm about to get... Most people don't even know that Harlequins exist. It's okay. I know they exist. I know they exist and I know they're nice and neat. And they make me feel complete. I can't believe they're not giving you giving you more models. This is what I don't understand about GW is they seem to really love their money. But then why not give you more more models for Harlequin? Why not give more? I guess because more people will buy something else that's more popular, right? But it doesn't cost them anything. Like, okay, it costs them the labor and the everything and the like they could just make them, right? It's not that hard. The patterns, the everything. Really not that difficult. Oh. Yeah. They could make more Space Marine and sell way more. Yeah. Oh, man. You know what they should do one time? They should do a drop where it's like all the least favorite ones. But like, not the least favorite, the least popular ones at the same time so that they get a boost also it's ugh, maybe they're also not selling because there's eight units how are you going to do anything with those because imagine liking space elves I mean they're great they birthed at Slanesh that's pretty cool have you birthed a god? I was actually just thinking that. What would be the least popular chapter? Because I'm sure League of Vota will do good because everybody likes capitalist dwarves. Um, birthing a god is on my to-do list. Okay, Virgin Mary, sit back down. Sit back down, Virgin Mary. No, the White Scars are really that not popular? But Jagatai Khan is so cool. Don't say that. I feel like it's probably something like Harlequin or um, some other like small subsect of something. Who was that rebel in the Tao Empire again? Um... The one that has um, the one that has a Necron artifact that they think is demonic. Farsight. But it, I know he's pretty popular. So would his like 
his little like subdivision, are they popular? Cause man, is, is Harlequin's really the least popular? I don't see any of the of the alien factions being super not popular because they're unique enough. Could it be one of the the the, the space marines? I also kind of doubt it. Mm. Really? Poor, poor, poor Jagatai. He's so lovely. What the heck? I don't hear about the Grey Knights too often, actually. But that's just me. I feel like we almost never see Grey Knights submitted when we do Warhammer reviews. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, I see. Grey Knights used to have bad rules. Maybe that's why I never see them then. See? That's why. Mm-hmm. All right, back to, back to fishing. I've gone missing. I've gone fishing. Uh, I think Zen said Grey Knights were her favorite. I think Zen told me that Grey Knights were her favorite, so that's pretty cool. I definitely have to recheck everything. I'm excited. I'm going to re-react to Ricky's video. And I know it's going to embarrass the shit out of him. That's funny. Poor guy. He. When when I think when I was playing Hylix. Oh, somebody's got a rain cloud. He logged in to play Balatro. It showed on Steam. I was like, ah, this guy's addicted. This guy's freaking addicted. You never expected Zen to be a Grey Knights fan? She told me she really liked uh, Grey Knight, um, Grey Knight uh, last year when we did when we watched Ricky's video together. Um, I really want to get that item that gives you the chance for the rain cloud. It's so smart. So um, I, I'm surprised she's not more into Farsight. I feel like Farsight would be her guy. Absolutely. She's so rebellious, too. She's so rebellious. And we love her for it. It's that rebellion that's breaking down doors and kicking names. Just to make sure. Because sometimes I feel like when you say rebellious, people are like, Matara, what do you mean? She's cutely rebellious. Rebellious people crave structured individuals. Ah, aren't you right? Aren't you right? Oh. Aren't you right? Zen should play the army that killed their friends the most. Mm. I feel like Zen. Zen loves the orcs, of course. I feel like she'd, she'd really love Farsight. <clears throat> Have a good night, by the way, whoever's going for nights. Hmm. We got another rain cloud? Am I crazy? It's raining men. Yeah. I do feel she's very corn and angron coated too. She's very red. She's very fiery. She's very everything, you know? She's definitely corn. Um, then again, she's a trickster, so it's seen. Yeah, she's definitely very corn coated. And she's very loyal and very, you know, like, Goes by the book, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited to rewatch the Warhammer Factions video now that I now that I know more. Just to see. Just to see. Thank you. 
Speaking of, I need to double check when Stalker comes out because I might play Stalker in December because I think he comes out as I'm... Sorry, I was thinking about December and what I'm going to be doing. Mm. Oh, it comes out on the 20th? Oh, I might be able to finish it right before I go on my trip. If if we don't keep the subathon until that long, then I actually might be able to finish it right before I go on my trip. But if... Oh, you got no bait attached. Whoopsie poopsie. <laughs> yeah, the thing is on the 20th, I'll, I'll be at a hair appointment. So it's going to be the day after probably. Ooh. I hope it's there in time, but they're actually sending me a package that I'm gonna I'm gonna open on stream. And then I'm gonna play stock. Uh, let me also go get more water in a bit. Ooh. And maybe a slice of cheese. It's been too long since I've had a nice slice of cheese. You know what? Maybe a nice slice of cheese. I haven't seen them, Alt. I have not seen them. I think maybe these Coca-Cola cans are being a little too expensive for me. Let's count. So this one costs 150 right? Oh, I accidentally drank two of them, so that's 300 Hold on, let me concentrate and see how much I can get. I think the cheaper cola can pays for itself quickly. But then what if I get the rarer fish because of this cola can? It's probably worth it. Like, look, it's an opulent walleye. You got what, like 41 extra go Yeah, I think it's worth it. I love cheese. I will always love a good slice of Raw fish, meat, raw meat, cheese. Always. When I say raw meat, I mean like a good steak tartare, not like, oh, here's a slab of this random meat, right? It's got to be, it's got to be good. If you just have like a brisket or a steak, also love that, obviously cooked, um, or, or raw fish or piece of cheese, Absolutely. Yeah, raw ground beef. Yummy. I absolutely, it, it, oh. Love, love, love. Uh, cheese is just so good. All the time. Ooh, we're getting drunk. Spooky, freaky, and I getting drunk. Keep accidentally drinking both of my colas. How are y'all getting your fishes so quickly, damn it? Yeah, the, the, the tartare with the egg, I like that too. Ooh, Chris, I absolutely love that for you. Ah, My favorite cheese is probably this cheese called Tuma. T-U-M-A. It's almost... It's got the consistency of like a, a soft tofu. It's got the consistency of like a firmer tofu. It's so good. I almost never have it. I think it's a Syrian or a Persian cheese, to be honest. T-U-M-A cheese. That's my favorite cheese. I do not eat it very often, but it is my favorite. Otherwise, I think I really... Havarti is probably in my top cheese. It's blue. Havarti. Okay, Tuma, blue cheese, and then Havarti. I love, love blue cheese. Oh my God. The stinkier, the better. The stinkier, the better. Havarti is really good. Havarti is so good. Agreed. Goat cheese is really good. I, I don't discriminate. The only cheese I truly don't really love is Swiss cheese. Maybe sometime on a sandwich, but I love smoked Gouda. Oh, so good. But... Every time I see Toad, I'm like, mint? <laughs> I love it. I think if a Swiss cheese is on a sandwich, it's different. But Swiss cheese by itself is just a little weird. 
It's a little weird for me. I don't know why. Oh, wait. Can I use yours? Hold on. Or is it single? What? I can use your stuff? Oh, my God. <laughs> Cobalt, that's so funny. Rendez Voodoo. Great name. Thank you for the gifted. I think we have an extra room now because somebody left. After my drink runs out, though, I'm going to get water and maybe get a kombucha. Swiss is not only bland, but it also got a little bit like, I don't know. I don't love it. Oh, thank you for the subby. You're welcome. Oh, that sounds amazing to you. What the heck? Raclette is also a great cheese. Oh, for the veggie fondue. Yummy. Or the beef fondue. Stop hating on the Swiss. They deserve it. They deserve it. They deserve it all the time. That is a joke. Legally speaking, I'm talking about the cheese. I'm talking about the cheese. I like, okay, I like brie and camembert. And I think it's always good. But because I've had so much brie and so much camembert, I never go like, ooh, brie, cheese. I'm never like, yeah, brie, cheese. I'm so happy. But I'm always pleasantly happy. I'm like, oh, brie, cheese, let's go. But since, you know, we're asking about my favorite cheese. If I, if somebody's like, I have too much cheese, I'll go, what? You have too much cheese? Nobody ever has too much cheese. All right. I got to pee. And I got to get more water. Okay, my labs. Be right back. Thank you. 
I'm not eating cheese. I'm eating pizza. We had a slice of pizza in the fridge. Mmm. There's cheese on the pizza. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. I'm having cold pizza. Mmm. I'm um, actually Matara. You're eating cheese. Actually, Matara, you're having cheese. Actually. It's delicious. Pizza at 2 in the morning? Listen. I have not been eating enough. I actually lost weight during the subathon. So, let me have my 2 a.m. pizza. Right, kid? I'm sorry that you're going through a hard time. Unfortunately, I don't think this is the time or the place for it. And I don't think I'm the person who is able to help you with that situation. Good luck. Good luck with everything. I'm a third cheese. It's true. That was your dinner cold pizza. Was it leftovers from yesterday? Because we had... We need to start looking for our next movie, by the way. For Pizza Party. Um, sorry, Rick. I don't think I, I can help with that. And I don't think you should be asking streamers for help with that either. Um... I wanted to look for a nice comedy. I I feel like somebody told me the other day that there's a Marilyn Monroe comedy that's public domain, but I find that really hard to believe. I would appreciate if we didn't talk about the subject and stream everybody. I'm sorry, I know it's really harsh, but... This is not the correct platform or the correct place to have this discussion. Even though I can have this discussion, I also don't think we should be we should be encouraging this kind of discussion. Chief, it's going to be a long night. Not that long. It could end soon. I'm going to have to take a look. I'd really like a comedy next time. I think it would be fun. Or people brought up the cabinet of Dr. Cagliari. A lot of stuff. Despari, that's what happened with uh, the last movie we watched, right? Night of the Living Dead, which... Uh, amazing. Holy cow. Chief, thank you for the gifted. And Arsh, thank you so much for the prime. <gasps> and Nixay, thank you for the raid. I don't know, Zamation. Maybe you're the one cursing me. Thank you so much. Um, I also got an apple. Because I, I bit into the apple. And then I realized that I had pizza. So I actually had already bitten into the apple. And I can't just leave the apple. So I'm going to have an apple and pizza. What are you staying awake for? 
It is Saturday night, so we can party. We have... Mm. Thank you, Steve. And thank you for the raid, Nixie. I hope you had a great stream. I hope you had a great stream, Angel. Good night, Scarly. Take care. Mm. Fancy coffee for fancy fishing. How fancy are we talking? Playing Minecraft music. Why does it make you want to play? Hmm. I didn't recognize it being Minecraft music. Oh. Oh, oopsies. That sounds really good, Clover. It's like a hot chocolate. No, it's like a dirty... I, I forget the name for it, but there's a name for when it's espresso and it's like a hot chocolate with coffee. There's a name for that. A mocha. Mm-hmm. Of course, I usually use a little bit of pumpkin creamer. I usually use a little bit of it, and then it makes every coffee taste like pumpkin. I like it. Oh my gosh, Shining King Salmon, let's go. That's usually my go-to. I love pumpkin-flavored things. I love coffee-flavored things. I love pumpkin-flavored things. Oh, yummy. Wait, did you just say you're getting a coffee before bed? Huh? I agree. I think pumpkin stuff should be available. Although, if you go to Starbucks, you can get stuff with pumpkin syrup in it. You can ask for a coffee with, like, pump of pumpkin um, syrup, and it's going to be pumpkin spice. You chug Coca-Cola before. Is that your bedtime routine? You just chug it? You love coffee before bed? Huh? <clears throat> Momos, what's going on? Coffee before bed is normal? Y'all... Mm. I was talking to my flesh mother. She wants to get a juicer. Well, let me rephrase. She wants me to get a juicer. And she wants us to drink celery juice every morning in, in, in December. Instead of coffee. I said I'll do it. I also don't mind making the juice for you. But I'm not washing the machine. If I make the juice, you wash the machine. And I will drink coffee. Why? Desire Juicy! Oh my god, I forgot. Desire Juicy. I forgot about that. That would have been so perfect if I said that. Um, I think because of health, like YouTube or... An influencer that she watches was recommending it. Oh. So lustful, it's not a Marilyn Monroe movie, right? It's just a movie by the same name. Thank you. I wouldn't forget Desire Juicy, but I'm tired. I'm tired. So, 
I don't know who she watches, but they're basically like these hot influencer women who are like, you should drink celery juice with apple and kale. And so we're going to liquefy our furnaces. Scars, thank you for the gifted. Oh, well, good for him. My love. Desire juicy. God, today, today the quotes were superior, absolutely above the rest. Mm. Unheard of. Well, now I can go to sleep right away because I just ate. If I eat right before bed, I can't fall asleep. Nick said, I was just thinking about that. I wanted to get one a few years back with um, Mochi. I almost called her by the wrong name. With Mochi. I wanted to get matching ones with her so we can have Juicy on our butt. Oh, yeah. There's sweatpants like that. Juicy Couture. Hello. And now that Y2K is back in style. You know? And yes. Before you ask, I had I had a pair. 20 plus years ago. Wait, I just saw rain somewhere. Oh, rain. I see the rain. I see the rain. A little silhouette of a rain. My goodness, finally, we're getting some expensive fishes. Let's go. She, no, no, no. My, my flesh mother threw out the hot pink leopard shirt. She threw it out. When I moved back with, with, uh, with my flesh mother, she threw, she threw it out. She, I don't know why everybody hated that shirt so much. For the best, I, I think, wait, did it stop raining? Oh my god, it stopped raining. Ah. Stop raining. Ooh. It's not raining. It's not raining. My stop. My rain. My rain. My fish, my fish, my fish, my fish. You haven't seen leopard prints in so long? Well, I like leopard print. I like it. What? What are you going to do? I like leopard print. So what? So what? I love it. It is what it is. Would I ever get a Gyaru model? Do you mean a Gyaru outfit? Um, I don't really see the point why. I'm not super big on like the the culture or the. I think I think the style is cool, but you know, I don't really know why I would. Nick says same. I just love that I can I can relive. I can rewear stuff from 20 plus years ago or buy a new one and be like, you know what? I can still rock it. So what if I rock this 25 years ago? I can rock it again. But better. Oh, I love that off brand. That makes me so happy. Oh, that's why. It's because I thought Gyaru was just like loose socks. Around the ankles, um, blonde hair and very tan skin, right? And like schoolgirl uniform, very short, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's what I I thought it was more like. Naito, you should look into like corporate goth. There's a lot of really nice kind of more grown-up goth-like looks that you can do. 
that still feel kind of spooky and goth and still kind of intimidating and all that stuff, but still grown up. And again, if you want to be emo and grown up, feel free. Nobody's stopping you, right? But there's a lot of that culture that, you know, you, you don't really want to do it as an adult. But there's a lot of really, really nice corporate goth or just kind of more having more grown up aesthetic with, with a lot of goth elements, dark elements, vampire, all that stuff. Really lustful. I'll have to look into older Gyaru. I've only ever seen the really, um, only ever seen really the young ones. Yeah. I, I think corporate goth is really good. I've always been really into Rick Owens. Um, I think his style looks really, really good if you are, it's, it looks really great on men. And it also looks really good on, on women who don't really have super big curves. Because unfortunately, if you have big curves, it can, it can drape you in a way that you kind of appear a little bit bigger. But still, it, it definitely if you're kind of into, into corporate goth, I would, I would take a look at some Rick Owen stuff. Some of it is very, look, I'll be honest with you. Some of it is very expensive. Nowadays, you can just look up the word dupe. <laughs> like, just, just honestly go on YouTube, be like, Rick Owens, similar to Rick Owens style, similar to this and that. There's a lot of that. But there's definitely a big way that you can include, um, you know, creepy and, and I say creepy, but you know what I mean? Creepy goth vampire stuff. The only thing I'd be careful for with corporate goth is um, crucifixes. Crucifixes and, 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 and um, crosses in general. I think if you have a regular cross, people don't really seem to mind it. But if you're wearing kind of this, you know, Victorian style cross, people don't really like that. What's corporate goth? Think of the goth style, but like very, very toned down where you're just going to work and, it, you know, you're going to the office, but you just have slight elements of like, ooh, this is a little spooky. Yeah, I think it's, it's yeah, it's the pentagram and the stuff like that that you probably want to keep away from your boss. But other than that, Yeah, you can still do dark lipstick, dark eyeliner most of the time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's, uh, definitely look it up. Always really, really fun. Also, style is fun to mix and match with, right? Some days you wake up and you're like, that's it. I'm gonna wear dark clothes to reflect my mood. And sometimes you wake up and you just want to wear, you know, bright flowers and pink and big goofy dresses. Pajamas all day. Oh, I really, I love the trend when there was a trend a few years back that I'm, I, I don't care. I'm bringing it back. You just would basically wear luxurious pajamas. Not you basically would. Some influencers and insta babes were just wearing really luxurious pajamas around. Hello? Why not? Hello? Why not? Why not have that? Thank you, Aerie, for hanging out. Sorry I missed you leaving. Y'all, we have a space. We have a space if anybody wants to join. We have a little spacy. If anybody would like to come. Hello. And we might even have space in the second lobby. I'm not sure. Wow, Magnet. That is wild. Gee, we're doing good. We're kind of just chilling. We're kind of just chilling. Just hanging out. Code, uh, the code is pinned. The code is pinned in the stream. There's a lot of space in the second lobby if you'd like to be, if you'd like to hang too. If anybody's just wanting to fish and not really, you know. Yay! Oh my goodness. You need to find the Sailor Joseph shirt. Oh, he's so, he's so hunky. Sorry, I'm drinking kombucha and it's making me burp. Ah. Uh. Kombucha, please. Oh my God, everybody just keeps fishing. You just don't stop fishing and you don't stop fishing. 
the plop is satisfying, but what's really satisfying is hearing other people reel. Having my own reel isn't that satisfying because I'm doing the work. But when other people reel their fish, it's so satisfying. Oh, I love it. I love it. You can get away with pretty much any shirt. Nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Any shirt at work is good. Do you ever just like wear something really funky and then, I don't know, at your lunch break, just rip off your vest and you're wearing a Barbie shirt? You you rip off your vest and it's actually the Lime Tar or Kiss emote? It's just Lime Tar or Kiss, that's it. You just you show it to everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm here to represent, here to represent the girls. Still can't believe Mint instantly knew that it was Lime Tara and not Mint Tara. Mmm, Clover, yeah, I get that. That definitely makes sense. If you're always, uh, stream for 24 more days. Nandre, take a bullet in your skull right now. And I'll stream for 25 more days. Bet you won't. <laughs> Nandre, right now. <laughs> Sorry, that came off a little aggressive, but Nandre is mutual friends with, with one of my really, really close friends. So, by osmosis, by osmosis, we are friends. By osmosis, by osmosis, we are, we are friends. They're, they're one of Krupp's close friends. They're one of Krupp's close friends. How are you, Nandre? Hey, you're saying this, but we could be done in an, in an hour. I'm just saying, in one hour, it could be it. We could be done. Oh, Arch, you're going to love this story. I talked about it before, but I'm going to say it since you're talking about restaurants. Also, how are you, Andre? How is everything? I think you also know Vio, right? I was actually thinking of Vio when you mentioned Krub. I was like, wait, right. No, you're actually besties with, with, with Krub. Um, so <laughs> for the restaurant story, I used to work at... <sighs> They called them supper clubs back in the day. I don't know if they still call them supper clubs, but it's basically a really pricey, expensive place where you go to eat. And um, then after, so you basically, instead of going to eat at a nice restaurant and then go party at a club, you would go eat at a mediocre restaurant that then turns into a mediocre club. But sometimes like the club would start at 11 PM, right? So if you had a table still eating, they would like be eating and, and, People around them would be starting to party and dance and you'd still have to bring them food. It, it was not great. Don't recommend it. Um, but this whole story to say. Um, I was my flesh woman still is very tall and a lot of the tables were very short. Rex, thank you so much for the gifted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rex. So during the dinner service. Uh, I would wear flats. Of course, at night with the club, you want to, you know, have the... But sometimes at the dinner service, some people would come in that didn't know that you were a club. They were just there because you're a restaurant. So uh, my dress is already kind of short for dinner. And then I'm tall. So then when I come up to the to the table, it's just it, it's just a couple on a date. And I'm. it was not, you know, they wanted you to look sexy for dinner and then whichever. So during the dinner service, I would try to sneak in flats and wear my flats. <clears throat> until the manager caught wind of it and was like, no, you have to look, you have to look sexy all the time. You can't wear flats to, to dinner service. No, no, no. Even though when I would wear heels to the table, I would be like, it would be so short and it would just be anyway. So what I started doing, uh, because then the manager, it wasn't the manager, the manager didn't mind. Sorry. It was the owner, the manager. He was like, girl, do whatever. But if the owner's here, you know, I'm, if the owner's here, I'm saving my skin, but you do whatever you want. He wasn't going to stitch on me, but, you know, if the owner was there, he'd be like, yes, Matara, go do your stuff. 
So when the owner would come in and he was an old Italian man, he didn't see really well. So what I would do is if I was, I had my flats on and let's say I was carrying plates or bringing a bottle of wine to the table, I would just get on my tippy toes and sort of walk a little bit slower on my tippy toes. I'm not kidding. I know it sounds crazy. Like how would he, I would just walk sort of slowly on my tippy toes and kind of waddle as if I'm wearing heels. And he never caught me, the owner. After that, he never caught me. And even my coworkers are like, girl, this is crazy. Like I can tell you're waddling. I, I can tell. And then sometimes the tables would then go, what is happening? Why are you doing this? And I would explain, I'm like, look, the owner's really particular. He wants me to wear, you know, and I'm like this turns into a club later, which is why, you know, I'm dressed like this. And it would always be a really good story. And people loved it. And it always ended up being good laughs. But I would just kind of get on my tippy toes and slowly waddle. And what he would do, I guess, is he would just kind of see, okay, height. Because that's, I think, how he would usually know that I'm not wearing heels is my height. Right? If he looks at me and he's used to me being 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and then he looks at me and he's used to be being, me being 6'1", there's a difference, right? So as long as I'm taller than I'm supposed to be, it's fine. You're crazy for telling the customers. Oh, no, the customers thought it was funny. Why would they tell the owner? That doesn't make... Usually the customers, they're like, they're on your side. It wouldn't be a lot of customers that would ask me. It would maybe be... Again, it wouldn't happen every day. It would happen maybe once once twice a month right where he'd come down during dinner service and i'd be working and i'd be there um and he also never looked at my feet right he only kind of looked where i was so it looked natural and some customers wouldn't ask not not like every customer was like what are you doing because maybe they wouldn't notice and uh it's just a really good conversation and it's funny and it's like ah you know it's awesome Oh yeah, this was also like 20 years ago. So definitely a little bit before before a lot. No, I think there was always, I feel like there was always care and culture, right? I think, I think obviously now it's a lot bigger, but there was always. Oh, Arch, that is very silly. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, I am always the person that I always have to take things down from shelves for other women. All the time. I love it. I'm like, hee hee. I got you. I got you. And I'm not even that tall. And I'm like, I got you. I got you. What do you need? Oh, yeah. I loved um, the plateau shoe things. What is it called? Um, Wedges. I loved wedges. Wedges were great. Oh, I'm so sorry, Naito. That, um... <sighs> that really sucks. I definitely don't miss customer service. I definitely feel... This is why I always tell people too, right? With, with I'm like, this is by far the best, the best, the best everything I've ever done. I get to play video games. I get to make my own hour. We get to, we get to yap. We get to talk about whatever the hell we want to talk about every time. Isn't that crazy? Meteor just landed where? Where? Can we go there or? <laughs> oh, one thing about being tall. So usually what I do, usually what I would do, again, I'm not nearly, you know, as tall as you probably are, but, um, Whenever I brush my teeth or wherever I do anything, I'm always kind of doing almost, um, like I just spread my legs. If I'm brushing my teeth or anything, right, I'll just kind of spread my legs out um, or I will, like I'll always just kind of almost do the splits. I don't know how to say it in English, what, what that is called. Almost every time you're at a grocery store, you get confused for a worker. I never do. But I also dress pretty eclectic and eccentric. So I think that's why. And you know why I'll, Why else? I look like a bitch. <laughs> I always have resting bitch face. Yeah, take a wider stance. 
the reason I take a wider stance is because then I'm shorter, which means that I, first of all, I'm stretching my legs, which is awesome. Second of all, I'm, so for example, my sink is really low. If I'm brushing my teeth at the sink, I have to bend. I have to bend and it, it, um, it, 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 it hurts, right? Like you're hurting or you're, or you're kind of holding yourself a little bit. So I basically do, yeah, a power stance. I do power stances everywhere around my house all the time. I, I think maybe, could it be, wait, have I accidentally tricked myself into being confident many years ago? Because I was very tall, very young, very tall, very young. I was, I was in Canada. They used to have these books called vaccination books where they wrote down all your vac. This is before, you know, before the internet, they wrote down, um, everything that you were vaccinated for or with. So I had a vaccination book and in it, when I, when my flesh woman was 12, she was 171 centimeters, which is like five, eight, five, seven. And all the, the school photos, it was like just one head towering. It was usually me and another girl towering over everybody. Right. Um, so even being only five, seven way back when I still needed to do the power stance everywhere. Yeah, Tio, it was wild. But now, all these years later, right? I'm only three centimeters taller, my flesh woman. This is also why I'm a, like, I always have such bad posture because I, Matara, am 181 and I'm stuck inside the body of a woman who's 174. You know? It's causing trouble. Oh, wait a second. I was grabbing my water. Yeah, spiders. I think so. I don't know why our sinks are so low here. Brain, uh, there was always a saying with uh, Eastern European folks. I forget exactly how it is in Russian, but it kind of uh, alludes to, you know, men get their growth spurt after. Because uh, I think in Russia, I think it still is around that they have mandatory military service. But in the Soviet Union, there was mandatory military service. And every time a man was short, they would tell him, don't worry, when you come back from the military, you're going to come back, you know, you're going to sprout like a beanstalk. That is wild, Rig. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, where's the rain? Um. Wait, is it the rain here? Oh, that's why it's darker, right? Cool. Yeah, of course, of course. But I mean, it was before, too. I think it was just all Soviet Union. <laughs> you're getting so old that you're shorter than you were in high school. Let's go. This is the kind of audience I stream for. Where are my hags? Where are my hags and grunkles at, huh? There we go. That's what we like. Full full disclosure with, with like the, the person earlier, just the way that they wrote and everything really made me think that it was probably a teenager. And I just feel really bad that I couldn't really say anything or do anything. And unfortunately, I feel if we did kind of give them help with their situation. Oh, my God. Who wrote pee pee poo poo? You are so brave. Good for you. Speak your truth. I just feel like even us kind of talking to them about it kind of encourages them to do this, right? Where that's the that's like the bad part about it is ugh, I don't know. And it it was also such a strange message too, because it was like <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. I'm I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because it was just such a jarring message. It was like. Oh, you know, somebody is wants to end their life and I want to help them. But also, they're not a really good person. I was like, wait, what? What do you like? What, what does this have to do with it? it? It was it was it was very much a message written kind of by like a teenager. It was very obvious, like the way it was written, the way the sentences were structured. <laughs> and I just uh, I, I, I do feel bad, but I also, you know, we, we got to we can't get into stuff like that. Yeah. 
But again, they had a, it was like, I want to help them. But also, I don't really think they're a good person. Okay, so do you want to help them or not? What, what do you want me to say? Oh, they're a bad person? Yeah, you know what? It's over for them. What? Which, which is why I really do think it was probably a younger, a younger person. And unfortunately, it's just not really something that um, we can really help with. Yeah, definitely more more youngins. Also, this is honestly one of the reasons I think if I only ever get one permanent day off, I want it to be Saturday. Even though I think having a day off in the week is even better because I want to go to a restaurant in the middle of the week. I don't want to go to a restaurant on Saturday. I don't want to do all that stuff. But um, for some reason, I if I had one least favorite stream day, Nandre, what's your least favorite stream day? Just, just give me a day. Mine is Saturday. Even though probably statistically, Saturday is probably a great day for viewership, probably a great day for people subscribing and gifting subs, probably. Maybe sponsors. But I just feel like for me mentally, Saturday has always had a stigma of all the... And for some reason, for some reason, Sunday is an amazing day. Which is funny. Saturday is such a bad, weird day online. Sunday is an amazing day. Thursday, Friday, and Thursday, Friday, always really, really, really good. Monday, it's nice to take it off, but streaming on Monday is great. Everybody is so happy you're live. Tuesday, kind of a random day. I also like taking Tuesdays off just because it's, I like Monday and I like Wednesday. So I guess my next least favorite day kind of by default accidentally ends up being Tuesday. Yeah, honestly. Sunday, I want to watch football, but I feel like, do you like, um, who's your favorite football? That makes sense, Elf Crisis. And just in general, during the holiday season, there's just going to be a little bit more kids. And But that's the, you can kind of tell that it's a child, right? The Chicago Bears, nice. I didn't know they had bears in Chicago. We talked about it the other day. I think I fully know three or four people in the NFL. Not personally, just their names. Um, so I am I am very much a sports ball fan. Yeah, I think Saturday is probably when the kids are left alone, huh? So Sunday is probably when the kids are not being left alone. Naito, I always recommend people to try and have three to four, try to have a few days that people know where to find you. I really think that's important. I'm trying to remember why I... Oh, actually, sorry. Wednesday and Tuesday are actually interchangeable for me. I wouldn't mind having a day off on Tuesday or Wednesday, but Henya takes Wednesday off. So I feel, especially before Michi joined, I feel like it was only really Henya and I that streamed late night. Sometimes Mel does, but yes, but Mel is usually on the other website as well, right? So consistently on Twitch for Vishojo, there was only really Henya and I before at that like 5, 6 p.m. time slot. So I really liked making sure that the day that Henya isn't there, that there's my stream. And then the day that I'm not there, there's Henya's stream. Only pain. Exactly. And they were in anime, they'd be berserk because they're good or because they're bad. I don't know how you feel about berserk. Oh, I'm losing it if we're talking about sports ball. I'm sorry, everybody. Sports ball is not my... Sports ball is not my my forte because they hurt and I love them. Let's go. Also, date night. So cute. Ah, Look at you being in love. The first time I chatted in a corrupt stream, I got accused of being an Andre secret account. I mean, yeah, I don't. <laughs> but you were a Matara secret account the whole time. Speaking of Krub. 
I think he's not timed out anymore, but he was timed out for a pretty good amount of time. Um, and it was a great, 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 great request. Thank you for that, Lustful. That was, that went great. You cooked on that one. You really did. For all Matara's secret account. All right, if you really are my secret account, you should spin. If you really, really are my secret account, you should spin. Only secret Matara accounts can spin. Nobody else can spin. I'm literally Matara. Prove it by spinning. Prove it by spinning. Uh, can't spin. We have a free spin emote, no? We have a free spin emote um, on, on Twitch. Uh, on Twitch. On better tw television. Oh my god. Crub and Mint are still timed out. Good. As they should. They deserve it. They deserve it. They deserve it. Oh. Yeah, it is, Chief. I got, but the only thing is, um, when they were working on it, it was actually before the Momo was fully finalized. So it was, yeah. Isn't it cute? I got it at my, at my uh, debut last year. And I haven't had the heart to change it. I just love it so much. I love when when people have such a recognizable style that y'all can just easily recognize them in the... Oh, wait, where's my game? Hello. Fish? Fish has died. Oh. Nandre, I might have to ask for your advice on places on places in in uh in your city in the future. Hold on, why is my game not streaming? There we go. But uh hey, I'll I'll do so later. I I think next year once I get everything established, I got to figure out. I got to figure out if I'm if I'm going to the United States or if I'm going to Japan. And I know you're all going to say Matara, you're dumb, go to Japan, but I just have so much more stuff happening in the states. You know? All the time. What if there's Arcane Season 5? Flip a coin. That's the worst part chilling is that I think I think Los Angeles is better. Even though. Even though. Or anywhere near the West Coast. Like it could be Seattle. It could be Denver. It could be Vegas, but not anymore because all my friends left Vegas. It could be San Diego, honestly. I really like San Diego. Um, I think. As long as it's somewhere on the West Coast, it could be easier. Make a pro-con list. Yeah. I feel like Japan, it would just be for self-fulfillment. But even then, I'm not sure how self-fulfilled I'll be because I'll have to keep traveling so much for work. That's the thing. I already know. I already know that the answer should be West Coast. I know, Duo. And the food in San Diego is so good. I agree, Clover. And not just that, even though I have pals in Japan, everyone kind of has their own life and has their own stuff. You vote for San Jose? Oh, no, 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 no. I've been to San Jose before. It's just, nah. I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I, if you told me San Francisco or San Jose, neither. <laughs> it's true, and I can just keep stay, staying at Gidi's. Uncle Sam, thank you for subscribing. Also, I do have some pals in Denver. I do have some pals in Seattle. Seattle, Denver. Again, Las Vegas, but not anymore. Seattle, Denver. San Diego, Los Angeles. I've been to Portland before and I liked it, but that was many years ago. I don't know how Portland is right now. Uncle, thank you for the gifted. And I don't really have much friends in Portland. So... 
And I'd still, again, I'd still have to fly for stuff, but it's just much easier. If I go to LA, LA is where I have the most amount of friends, right? So it makes it really easier. Portland is rougher. Oh. I've heard great stuff about Phoenix and about Denver and Colorado and stuff like that. That's awesome, Clover. So you can just move kind of anywhere that you want to go. I mean, look, coming from Canada, nothing is that cold. Don't go to Arizona in the summer. I mean, if I'm looking to move somewhere, I'm going to be there in the summer and the winter, right? I know, Pika, but luckily Vegas is easy to fly to, right? Everybody flies into Vegas. How do you fish in the little circle? What do you mean, Angel? How do you fish in... Oh, the little circle. You type exclamation mark fish. And um, once it's your turn in the queue, you get to fish. But I think there's there's quite a big queue ahead of you. What's the queue at? Oh, 14, actually. Not big at all. Imagine residency. To do what? To stream? <laughs> I feel like... They're gonna eventually have a streamer do a residency, right? Like that's I, I don't I don't believe that. I think that, that would be crazy. Move to Texas with Zen? Nah. Not Texas. I really gotta be on the West Coast. If I move to if I move to the States for work, I gotta be in Vancouver or I gotta be in the West Coast of the United States. Otherwise it's it's still gonna be so many planes, so much trouble, so much everything. Sounds like I need to get married for a visa. Legally speaking, no. But also, no, I actually don't. It's gotten a lot easier to get visas um, for work stuff. And uh, it's actually gotten a lot, a lot. It got really tough right before COVID, during COVID Impossible. Now it's really, really opening up. And um, yeah, it's it's gotten it's gotten much different. Vancouver is boring. And expensive. And I don't have that many friends in Vancouver, number one. And I actually, even my friends that are there always tell me that it's really hard to make friends in Vancouver. So, it is what it is. Yeah, I guess I guess the, the third option could be, could be marriage, right? Ah, uh, not again. Not again. Not again. Best to pick a place that has international airports? Of course. And I think pretty much everything I named. Um, San Diego. LA. Um, Seattle. Denver. Um, Phoenix. Right? Vancouver. Seems like someone's spawning meteors on your server. How so? Hmm. How would we know? There's no more question mark anymore. The only names I kind of don't recognize is some of here, but I don't know. Hmm. Is there anything we can do? <laughs> oh, could it be a problem of like the server? So I don't want to just kick out like four people whose names I don't recognize because they have different names from. Oh, you think the guy who spawned them disconnected? Okay, well then we keep everybody in. Other than create a new one? Mm. Do we need to create a new one? Does it matter? Commit genocide? Not today. Mm, I see, Rain. I see, I see. What's DIA? How am I not sleeping? 
There's only an hour left. Oh, the Denver International Airport. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, a lot of flights. Sometimes when I when I don't get a direct flight from Canada, they fly through Denver quite often. Oh. Uh, uh, unhealthy sleeping schedule, baby. Nothing about me is healthy. I'm an alien cockroach living inside a human woman's body. Nothing about me is healthy. Nothing about me is healthy, Angel. All right, well, you know what, everybody? If the server is lagging, I'm going to re... I'm going to make another lobby. You guys are free to join. That does mean that maybe some of you won't be able to join it. I'm sorry. Um, But there is the second lobby as well. So I'm going to save and quit. And then I'm going to give the new code. Okay. All right, new code. New code, new code. Somebody was in the current lobby and you didn't get in. I'm sorry. All right, new code. Zero, if you don't mind copy pasting that and still keeping the secondary lobby open too, please. Please. Yoink. Thanks for the fishing. It was fun. Please feel free to join again. I just, uh, hearing that some people were lagging makes me wanna, makes me wanna restart so that y'all don't lag anymore. Cause even me too, it kinda sucks. Kinda sucks, you know? Dang zero. Uh. Oh, yeah, we're full full. Yippee! Oh, the bow, oh my God, the big begging eyes. Oh my gosh, so cute. Cute. I know, that lobby code was evil. You basically have to copy paste it. You have to copy paste it, otherwise forget it. They really, they really did us dirty, didn't they? Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm excited. I think, I think, uh... <sighs> something I've learned about my life in the last few years is I can set a course of where I want to go, but the details, that has to be shorter. Like maybe in, in three months, something will happen and I'll decide, okay, no, Japan is where I have to be, right? Just like me signing with WME, right, is definitely made a lot of cards in the favor of West Coast. So... Nice rain cloud. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for the rain cloud, nerds. Honestly, Dustbub, next time I'll go to New York, I'll think about it. Maybe next year if I visit New York, I'll think about it. You know? Wait, Jella, how did you decide? Although I think it's easier for you if you're... I think it's easier if you are American, right? Because you can kind of go and you have a little bit more playroom and, and all that stuff of where you're going. Awesome. Right? Oh, I'm not even fishing. What the hell? Do I like to travel a lot? I used to. I don't. I still like traveling and seeing friends. But honestly, I, I really like being back in my routines. I do not enjoy streaming not on my computer. It's even if you set me up everything perfectly, it's everything. I'm just so... I need my monitors the way they're aligned. I need my files the way they're aligned. I do not like to stream not at my PC. It's just my my headphones are different. My chair. It's every little thing. I feel it's just easier. Um, so I definitely don't enjoy that part. So now with that, with I, if I travel... In the past, I used to not really have a career that I really loved. So traveling was an escape from my career. Now it's the opposite. After traveling for a day or two, I'm thinking, oh my goodness. Okay, well, I have this amazing opportunity that just came in. I have this great idea for a project I want to do. Oh, I want to get into a call about this thing, about this meeting. Oh, I want to organize something for Vishojo. Now I really want to get back to my PC setup, which is 
my favorite setup and kind of get everything going, right? Whereas before I was I was thinking, oh my God, I can't wait to get away from my waitressing job or all that stuff, right? Um, now I can only travel for a little bit. And even honestly, the girl strip that's happening at the end of the month. If that was just a two, three day trip, that would be perfect. But afterwards, I am going to see Mint also for two, three days, which again is, is we are going to stream for Mints at least. But even that for me, it's like, oh, that's almost a week, right? That's almost a week gone to see pals. That's a long time. I know by by day three, I'll be really excited to to be back home and stream. Right, Cass? It's, oh. And I miss my routine. Working out, not at your, you, like, ah. Oh. I have my favorite treadmill at the gym, right? I, I have, like, my, ugh. Oh. I have my favorite Stairmaster. I have my favorite everything. I, you know? It's not the same. It's not the same. This is how I know I'm getting really old. Where my routine is just the number one. I got so entranced by the game, my pizza's gone cold. What kind of pizza are you having, Jella? I'm parasocial with my treadmill, exactly. Life is short. Be parasocial. Oh. <laughs> you work for uh, immigration? Let's go. Can you explain to us in very simple terms why... Like, I know it got really hard for work visas at one point, especially for streaming an eSport, because I have a lot of friends that did eSports. And if in the past they would get very easy visas for BlizzCon, for Riot Games, for things like that, it got a lot harder for them to get those visas right before COVID. Right before COVID, it got so much harder. And a lot of European talent wasn't able to come to North America to do a lot of the work. I know this through a lot of eSports. And then as COVID started you know, dim not diminishing, but everything's kind of lifting. Um, it's getting a lot easier to get those visas again. I know, Zero, I'm going to cry. That's crazy. You know what's funny, too, about New York? I get so many rest, like... I get so many TikToks and restaurants from New York appearing on my TikTok and everyone's so well dressed that I'm always thinking, you know what? Maybe it is a nice place to make to make friends. There's run clubs, there's everything. Ooh. I work for a VTuber. I don't know if you know her. Tell me about her, Gin. Tell me about her. She beautiful. She pink. She a cockroach? Oh my god, you too? Yeah, that's the problem, crazy. Um, I've heard about the rent in New York. In, in Los Angeles as well. This is where, you know, San Diego comes in. I'm like, hey, there, there's Seattle. Although Seattle also has like a lot of the tech stuff. Yeah, Seattle, I know, even though it's no San Francisco, it's it's not cheap, which is a big problem. I think the easiest place would be L.A., right? Because of everything. But L.A. is so big. And. Mm. Even for the stream time, it really works. Because then I just stream at 3 p.m. Pacific. Have I thought about the South? No, because I need to, I need to be, I need to be able to go to the United States very often for conventions and things like that. Oh my God. No, not V, VTMB. Why are you, you saying those words to me, Xander? Thank you, Indominus. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging. Oh, right. They are switching off, guy, aren't they? Yeah, that's true, Udil. Thank you. We'll see how it works. 
It's for me, I wouldn't be emigra immigrating. I'd just be getting like a few year work visa, right? I would just be there for a few year work visa. Ooh, all right. Everyone's going to come to you with the cloud. This reminds me, I need to buy that. I want that cloud too. Technically, is it raining for us too right here or do I need to get closer? Do I need to get right under the cloud? What do y'all think? Or am I kind of good where I am? Because it still is rainy technically and dark. I think I need to be closer. Pretty sure you're fine. Oh, what? You think I'm sneaky? You don't want me to be closer? Yeah, that's true, Udell. If the sky is dark, ah, thank you, everybody. Oh, man. I don't know if I can make it. I gotta make it. I gotta, I gotta make it. I gotta do it. I gotta make it. I gotta make it. I'm gonna die another day. I can do it. I can do it, everybody. Majestical, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe stretch time. I wonder if I could get a more expensive one. Oh, that was funny. All right, uh, for the lures. Ah, there we go. Shower lure. Oh, it's funny. Ooh, ooh. We are so expensive. Hey. Oh yeah, Rocky. Absolutely. Um. They're already the first people I'm talking to about this. And then I know that there's also W and me that's that can help. So do not worry with that. I like I said, I have a few things I need to kind of iron out here first. So I don't even think that will be a possibility to do so anytime soon. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll get there when we get there. I'm not too worried. And also, maybe if I actually maybe if I actually get a home with my parents and we get it in you know they really want to move next to Toronto they really like the suburbs of Toronto and I I do not want to oh um who knows maybe if I'm going to be at a, in a big city again I'm not going to want to move as much and you know I can still travel for I can still travel for, for work things. And funny enough, Toronto actually has a much better airport system for traveling around. So. Than my current system. Where I have to take... Where I have to take, like, a two-hour drive to get to the airport. My current system is no good. Is in Toronto? I think it's Vancouver. Antano, thank you for the gifted. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. My momos, I don't know if I can make it. I don't know if I can make it, my momos. I'm tired. I'm be sleepy. I know Twitch, you know, kind of purposely wants to incentivize people who aren't watching to get the gifted or, you know. But sometimes it feels like Twitch is really going out of their way to just not gift subscribers to people currently in, in stream. Sometimes it really feels like Twitch is working hard to get a little bit of extra money, you know? Hello, Joel. I'm a bed hag. How are you? Joel, I'm so sleepy. 
I'm so sleepy. I'm so tired, Joel. Des, but that is, I am jealous. <laughs> oh. What time is it? Okay, it's only 3 a.m. Joel, are you good at Overwatch? You say sleep, but my subathon can die in an hour. I want to be here. I want to be here when that happens. Hello? I want to be here when that happens. It's not. I don't, I don't believe you. I want to, I want to, I want to spend the time and cry and have a good time. Oh my God. Rumsey and Pyro, thank you. Ah! Yeah, I I think so too, Udo. I think most time, things moving is good. I am okay at Overwatch. Are you better than me okay or worse than me okay? Not at Ruben's level. Joel, could I interest you in some Overwatch? In the middle of the night? Oh my god, I look so cute. Perfect. Joel, send me your username. You're I'm I'm literally telling you, send me your username. All right, everybody. You got three minutes on the fishing. Got three minutes on the fishing, everybody. I'm stealing Joel for Overwatch. <laughs> stealing Joel for Overwatch. Let's see if Jins was around. Ooh, what the hell is this? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, such a big fish! Bitoki, thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the 25 gifted. Alright, let me let me let my fishing bag run out. My my reel. Oh my god, Naito. It actually worked. I didn't believe it. It was wonderful meeting you too, Spooky. I hope you had some good fishes. So long and take for the fish. Mata, I see your timer is getting low. I promise you, Ricky will be forced to teach me how to play the game. Even if. Even if we don't hit it. I promise you. I might try that support y'all told me to try yesterday. But maybe not. All right, everybody. Time... Time is running out. I think I'm drowning asphyxiated. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for fishing. Yippee. I know. I actually did. And I'm excited. I'm excited. Thanks for fishing, everybody. Meow, 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 meow. Look at all the cats trying. Look at everybody. Look at everybody being so cute. Look at everybody being so cute. Bye-bye. I love you all. <laughs> <laughs>